Hello Year 5, welcome to your arithmetic for this week. Here are Monday's questions. As always, pause the video here to do your work. Here are Monday's answers. So looking at our reasoning question for today, we've got Teddy and Jack playing a computer game. The question gives us the information that Teddy has scored 55,890 points and that Jack scores 36,470 points fewer than Teddy. So to work out how many points Jack scored, we would need to do the calculation of 55,890, take away 36,475, which will give us a total of 19,415. To work out how many points they have all together, we would need to combine 55,890 and 19,415, which will give us an answer of 75,305. Welcome to Tuesday's questions. Pause the video here. Here are Tuesday's answers. <clears throat> to work out the number of people at the football match, so the number reported has been rounded to the nearest 10,000. We know that in order to round to the nearest 10,000, we look at the next place value along, which would be thousands. We also know that once you, um, any number below or four and below will round down, five and above always rounds up. So the biggest number it could possibly be will be 84,999. And the same goes through for each one. <clears throat> So you'll see there's a pattern occurring where the, in front of the next um, place value you're rounding to, the number is four. If it was five, obviously you would round up and then that would not give you the answer of 80,000. Here are Wednesday's questions. Pause the video here. So to answer the reasoning question, we have to look at the information that's contained within the bar chart. So on average, which month is the hottest? To work this out, we'd need to find the bar that goes highest up the chart. So in this case, it's July with 16 degrees. On average, which month is the coldest? Does it, we'd need to look for the lowest bar in this case, so the one that goes down the furthest, and that would be January with minus 24 degrees. <coughs> to work out the difference in temperature between the hottest and coldest months, we have to bridge through zero. So what we would need to do here, we would find the lowest and the highest temperatures, which are minus 24 and plus 16 degrees Celsius. So in order to get from minus 24 back to zero, that would be 24 on its own. And then add 16 to that would give us the 40 degrees. That is the answer. To look at how many degrees the temperature rises between March and August, we'd need to look at the values for those two months. So we have minus 12 and plus 13. So March being minus 12, again, we'd need to bridge through zero. So we'd need to add 12 to get to our zero. And then we've got 13 more on top of that, which gives us our total of 25. Here are Thursday's questions. Pause the video here. To answer your reasoning question for today, we need to look at how far the lorry driver is traveling. So he's traveling 156 kilometers per day. So to work out how far he will travel in five days, we will need to multiply that number. So 156 times five, which will give us the total of 780 kilometers. To work out how far he will travel in two and a half days, there were two ways you could have done this. You could have taken the answer from step one and divided it by two to give us the answer because five is um, two and a half is half of five. The way I've done it, I've done two times 156, which will give me my two full days, which is 312 kilometers. I've then divided 156 by two to give me the half a day, which was 78 kilometers. I've then added those two numbers together, so 78 plus 312, which is giving me a total of 390 kilometres. Here we are, Friday, year five, half term ahead of us, and here are your questions for today. Pause the video here. Here are your answers for Friday to talk you through the reasoning question. We know that a banana weighs 140 grams. We also know that a, a pineapple weighs 345 grams. So to work out the values of the, or the, rather the weights of the two bags, we'd need to do eight times 140, which will give us 1,120 grams or 1.12 kilograms. Bag B, we would have 345 grams times three, which would give us 1,035 grams or 1.035 kilograms. To work out the difference between the two, bags we need to do 1120 minus 1035 which gives us an answer of 85 grams so bag a is heavier by 85 grams <laughs>